you got the basket yet? I haven't got it yet. Yeah, Not no. yet. Not yet. Practice makes progress. We'll see you in no. the big leagues. All right. <laughs> You're watching 50 Ways to Be Active, Episode 11, Trick Shots. So today I want to find out just how much exercise I can get from trying to do a few trick shots. I have a few planned out that I'm going to attempt, but I'm going to treat it like a workout. I'm going to track it on my watch. So I'll know things like how much distance I cover, how many calories I burned, and that kind of thing. Let's get started. That would've been cool though, right? Dude, perfect. Trick shots look cool. I find them quite satisfying to watch, and I don't think I'm the only one, because people have been able to build entire careers around doing trick shots. I've played around a bit with trying to make cool trick shots myself, and I've learned one thing. They take a lot of work. Since the nature of trick shots is that they're really difficult to do, it usually requires a big number of attempts. So in my case, since I'm filming myself, that means a lot of running back and forth to fetch the ball. Attempt one, this is the half court hook shot. Comment below how many attempts you think it's gonna take. You know what, instead of dragging this out and trying to build suspense or whatever by showing you some of the attempts, I'm just going to take you right to the final trick shot montage. Everyday athlete. That's it. That's the whole montage. That's all the trick shots I was able to achieve in an entire afternoon. Now, let me tell you how much work that was. For the basketball shot, my first few attempts were decently close, and so I thought it wasn't actually going to take me that long. Boy, was I wrong. I won't tell you the exact number of attempts, because I want you to guess, but it did end up taking me over an hour. Although, a small part of that time I spent talking to a friendly chap who stopped by and wanted to chat. Boy, was I relieved when I finally got that shot to drop. I tried choosing slightly higher percentage shots after that, and so the soccer and tennis ones didn't take quite as long. And actually, the hardest part of the soccer one was getting a decent pass from Froggy. Also, I should probably stop using my phone like it's a GoPro. You okay? Let's look at how much exercise I actually got. Here's a map of my activity. Just look at this mess. That is a lot of running back and forth. I was at it for close to two hours, and according to my watch, I covered 6.5 kilometers and burned 765 calories in that time. And that's a decent workout. So is doing trick shots a good way to be active? Well, let me just show you my initial raw reaction after completing those three shots. I'm cold, I'm miserable, I can't feel my fingers. Trick shots is officially the worst way to get exercise. Do not do this. My goal with these videos is to actually inspire the people who watch them to want to try new ways to be active. Now I realize with this one, I'm probably not gonna convince a lot of you to go out and try a trick shot, and I can't even really say I recommend it. But just in case you wanna try it, I have two suggestions. One, find a friend to help you. I think that'll make it a little more enjoyable. And two, Pick a warmer day. Now for those of you who know that you will never try a trick shot, just to give you a taste of how difficult and frustrating they can be, tomorrow I'm gonna upload the full unedited version of that basketball shot. So give that a watch if you dare. Thank you so much for watching this one. Don't forget to guess how many attempts it took to make that basketball shot. And uh, subscribe right here for more ways to be active. And I'll see you in the next one.